Now we'll do a quick site tour just so I can show you what some of the pieces are. Now since we installed the sample data we have a completely working site using the data that was provided by Joomla. Now, in most cases you're probably not going to want to install the sample data. You'll want to start from scratch. However, another way you could do it is you could load up the sample data to see how everything works and then you can unpublish it and start again. Okay, so here we are. This is what is called the front page when you first come into it. And as you build your site, you will start building up menus with different parts on it. And you do all this in the back end. If we go into the admin side now, here's our control panel. Now the main parts of our site that we're going to start with are building our sections, our categories, and our articles. This is our basic content. After that, we start building up our menus and we decide what goes on the front page. Then once we're done that, we'll start adding advanced functions, which are components, and then we have all these different kinds of components we can use up here. We also have some extensions that we can use. Now just by clicking on any of these, you can modify whichever one you're pointing at here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unpublish what's already there and we're going to start again. So we'll start with our articles and then to unpublish something all we got to do is just click where it says published and it will unpublish it and it just makes it go away really. The other thing you could actually do is delete it entirely if you want to do it that way. Now you can also do a mass un delete or a mass delete or an unpublish just by clicking here and you see that it grabs all of them and just checks them. Then all you have to do is select what you want to do up here so we could unpublish them, move them or stick them in the trash. So what we'll do is we will unpublish them all. and there are two pages. We'll go to the next page, do the same thing, we'll unpublish. Okay, and that's basically moved all of the articles out of the way. Now if we were to go back to the site, we were to refresh here, all of a sudden we don't have any content. Okay, the next thing we're going to want to do to get ready is to go back to the control panel and then we'll go to the categories, category manager. We will unpublish all of these. And then go back again to the control panel and we'll go to sections. And then we'll just unpublish these as well. Okay, now if we go back to our front page refresh. Not much has changed here that you can see. However, these menus are sitting here pointing at stuff that no longer exists. So if we were to say click on the news, you'll see that it comes up with a 404 resource. So the next thing we need to do is go back and modify the menus. Go to menus, menu manager, go to menu items, And we'll unpublish all of, all of them except for home. Okay, now if we go back to our site. Now let's go back to the menu manager. Okay, and we want to unpublish the other menu. Just click, I will delete that. Just review it. Yeah, we don't need any of that. Example pages, we'll delete that one because that's a custom menu as well.
delete this one. And this one. Okay, and then we're just left with the user menu and the main menu. Okay, so now if we go back here and we just refresh, you'll see that all we have in here is our main menu, our login form, and our polls and all this stuff on the side here. Now these were put on using extensions. We'll go into Module Manager, and you'll see here, if we can go through it, here's our login form. So we can just unpublish that. And then we had polls, so we can unpublish that. And advertisement, we can unpublish that. random image, syndication. See, this is all the extra work I've caused myself by installing the sample data rather than just let it install an empty data set. So if you do install the sample data, you're going to have to go through all this to get a blank slate. All right, so if we go back here now. Okay, so oh, we have who's online here too. We can get rid of that. So if you had an empty data set, this is pretty much what you'd end up with. Okay, so now at this point, this is where you would actually start your site setup. Whether you had a blank data set, you came in and didn't install the sample data, or if you've got to this point where you've uninstalled all of the stuff that it put in there, and you're going to start over again. Now, the next thing we're going to do is go over the site setup right from the beginning. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to install a blank data set just so we can start from scratch. I just wanted to show you what the site looks like with the sample data in and the grief you'll cause yourself if you have to unpublish everything. Of course, you can use the sample data and then just modify what's in there if you really wanted to. But I think it's far easier to install a new data set. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to go through the basic setup parts of the site. And then we're going to get into a few more advanced functions. Now, since I've decided to start over again and, and use an empty data set, this is a good chance for me to show you how to install from Fantastico right through. So I'll click on Fantastico from our cPanel. Then we will click on Joomla 1.5. We'll click on New Installation. And then in here, we'll put Joomla-test, just like we had the other one. I've gone ahead and deleted that directory already, so we can just put it right where it was. So I'll put Joomla-test in here. Okay, down here are admin, username, and password. Down here, we put in a valid email address, and the name of the admin down here, our site name, and whether to install sample data, we'll uncheck that. Okay, click Install Joomla 1.5 tells you it's going to install a database, shows you where it's going to install the install of Joomla. We'll click Finish Installation. Okay, and it's as simple as that. It's already done it for us. So we can go to the admin now. And we can log in just like before. Okay, and now, now if we go and have a look at what the site looks like now without all of the sample data in it, there we go. All we have on it is the name of the site and the main menu. 
So now we're starting from a blank slate. In the next video, we're going to go over the basic setup of our Joomla site.